It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from, well, from Black Sheep Brewery, really. They brew the beer, but it's brewed for Sainsbury's. It's their Taste the Difference. Yorkshire Bitter, coming in at 5% ABV in a 500 milliliter bottle. I've had two or three now of these Sainsbury's Taste the Difference beers over the last few weeks. And I've got to say, I've got to say I've been really, really impressed. I went into the reviews. I went into Sainsbury's, really, first of all, buying some of the new 440 cans that they got in. You know, everybody's like, oh, Sainsbury's got some 440 cans. Now, for me to get to Sainsbury's, it's in about an 11 mile, maybe a bit more, maybe 14 miles there and back. So, whilst I was there, because I never go to Sainsbury's, I picked up some of the other beers that were there. I picked up all the 440 cans, 440 milliliters. We've already reviewed them on the channel, if you wanted to take a look. But I thought, whilst I was there, let's pick up some of the other stuff. And I picked it up on a whim. I picked it up on a whim. I didn't, didn't even, I, I, I didn't drive there to pick up these beers. I just thought, I'm here, let's pick them up, let's give them a try. And I think when you go into a beer review, not expecting really anything at all, and I, and I don't mean any disrespect to Sainsbury's here, but I just, normally when a, uh, you get like an own brand beer, own brand anything really. It's it's kind of like okay, it's kind of okay. It's it's not it's never really great. But a couple of the beers we've had from this this range have been pretty good. So after building this up to such a high degree, <laughs> let's see what we got. We got a one finger white head, good levels of carbonation, amber, mahogany coloured bitter. Um, it's not um, it's not a bottle conditioned beer, at least I don't think so. It's just a little bit of condensation on the glass. I have put these beers in the fridge, but I took them out about half an hour ago, so um, they're not going to be freezing cold. They're not going to have any of the malts or the hops being at a disadvantage of being like stone cold from being in the fridge. They're a nice temperature. It's about eight degrees. Let's get the aroma. Biscuity, bready, a little bit of nuttiness in there. And then a coppery, like a coppery, slightly tinny aroma in there. Let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, that's all right. It's it's more than all right. It's it's rather good actually. One thing I'd like to say, just to get it out of the way, um, I think the beer is a little bit too carbonated. That would be the, the one early criticism that I have for the beer. It's a little bit too carbonated. It's got the carbonation levels of a lager. It's hissing and fizzing on my palate. and um, Generally, bitters... Bitters, I find best bitters. Yorkshire bitters, I mean... They normally, they've normally got more of a rich mouthfeel. They've normally got more of a creaminess to them, more of a, a creamy like mouthfeel, rather than having uh, the body of a lager and the carbonation of a lager. That would be my only criticism as of this, as of this point. Other than that, it's really quite refreshing. It's really quite drinkable. It's really quite flavoursome. But it does take me back to the early days of me reviewing beers on YouTube where I was really learning my trade. I was really kind of just, you know, buying your boxes. Everybody does it. 
your, your box of classic ales of England. You, you pick them up these days in Lidl and you'll have a Cumberland ale in there and you will have a Marston's Pedigree and you will have a couple of maybe a Hobgoblin or it's generally a box that's made up of Marston's beers really, Marston's Brewery beers. Uh, you would have in the early days, you you would have got some Braxbeer beer, maybe a Oxford Gold or um, a Braxbeer Bitter. But I, I'm talking that's that's what I'm talking with this 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 beer here. It's it reminds me of my early days reviewing beer, where back then I wouldn't have been able to have had that ability to say that actually. It's a bit too carbonated. It's a bit like tasting lager. Why? Why has this bitter, bended style, to become a, you know, to compete with a lager? Why does a bitter have to do that? Probably because lager holds a seventy percent sales rate in the UK. Seventy percent of all beer sold is lager. So, so bitters over the years have had to evolve to. The, the lager market becoming more carbonated and becoming more drinkable where I I wish and I hope in the future that they revert back to their original style where it's all about the mouthfeel it's all about the creaminess because I think in this world where we are now this craft beer world there's room there's room for the best bitter to make a real big return and I would like to think in the future the best bitter style because when this style is brewed amazingly well this style of beer is terrific it's absolutely terrific i've got a can of beer here i'll just grab it now this is from london beer company or london brewing company should i say and this is their beer street if you ever want to try a traditional best bitter what that best bitter would have tasted like maybe 50 years ago then try this. It's fabulous. <clears throat> fabulous. But rating this in the hand, it's nutty, it's biscuity, it's bready, it's got some nice malt flavours coming through, it's got a nice hoppy bitter finish to it, as it should be in a best bitter. But I just feel it's, it, it's a little bit too carbonated and it's leaning into being or trying to become some kind of lager bitter hybrid, which, it, pardon me, it should never have done. Should never have done. But I understand why, why it happened, because of the threat of the lager. What were these poor breweries supposed to do when everybody wanted to drink lager? They were producing terrific, terrific bitters, and then all of a sudden, Everybody was drinking light lager and they, they just couldn't compete. They they couldn't compete. So they, they've evolved into becoming slightly more carbonated beers, which again, one more time, shouldn't have happened. Um, rating for this Yorkshire bitter then. Uh, Black Sheet Brewery. Another one of those early doors, early days breweries for me. Um, the Russian Imperial Stout. I reviewed that a few years ago terrific beer they produce some pretty tidy stuff they do black sheep um i like it enough to give the this, this is a six out of ten if i'm honest this is a six out of ten it, it's just not quite there but thanks for watching please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers